Hi, welcome everyone. So did you enjoy the sunspots? I'm going to explain to you exactly what they are. I'm going to explain to you the dangers, what's going on, uh, what NASA has said in the past, etc. A whole bunch of things we're going to be looking at. So real quickly, there is no polarized filter at all. And the reason why it's dark like this, it's natural because of the smog in the air. Imagine the um, thick air is permitting me to look at the sun. I was looking at it with a naked eye. I could see the whole sun. A uh, family member oh, 20 minutes away was calling me saying, I can see the sun, how come? When that's it, it's that thick, hazy smog, right? That's in the air and it's permitting me. It's Listen, it's literally being um, like a filter. It's um, The smog is helping me see the surface of the sun so just to prove it i mean look here's uh, with the conversion there are the solar flares in the east side and you're seeing the clouds i'm not even using a polarized filter that's pretty incredible we're going to look at it a couple of different ways and we'll go back in the coming days to do some more analyzing etc and again there'll be more captures it's been cloudy it's been raining all week and check it out those are the solar flares let's talk about exactly what solar flares are but first this is in the east side and this is the one that's in the north western top part of the sun i want to talk about that nasa never talks about all the sunspots being in different areas right it doesn't mean they're lying but it, they don't necessarily tell us the extras right and that's what we're getting a chance to see right here lo and behold i was so lucky again there's no filter here right i do have a filter i use a polarized filter there's different intensities now check it out in the south side and we're going to zoom in to see that that's another solar flare right and don't forget i'm going to explain exactly what solar flares are why they are caused what can happen when they're caused um because other things can be caused it can come up to a coronal mass ejection there's a lot of heat being distributed here and it's the magnetic fields that are connecting and we'll talk about that later it's very interesting and there it is in the southern side of the sun another solar flare Just to let you know, this was a chemtrail. Obviously, the chemtrail's going by, and they're spraying in front of the sun. They're always spraying in front of the sun, especially when it gets down by the horizon, even though we were not down by the horizon here. This is a very far away bird passing in front of the sun. You can see it's flapping wings. Uh, lots of energy going on right there and the sunspots my friends are not small at all go look at what nasa showed in the past about the spots and it, they, it, they were not even in the eastern side the sun is about to get crazy the sunspots are facing earth there's dangerous for uh, the devices here electrical devices and electromagnetic uh, geomagnetic storms we're going to talk about that too uh, look at them they're really really not small Solar flares are a sudden explosion of energy caused by tangling, crossing, or reorganizing of magnetic field lines near sunspots. And that's what you can see, uh, the interaction between the sunspots. So they say, the surface of the sun is a very busy place. This motion creates a lot of activity on the sun's surface called solar activity. Sometimes the sun's surface is very active, like right now. A coronal cloud is the cloud of hot plasma gas surrounding a coronal mass ejection. It is usually made up of protons and electrons. A coronal cloud is released when a solar flare becomes a coronal mass ejection. The coronal cloud often contains more radioactive particles than the mass ejection itself. And it just so happens the one I'm filming in this video is facing Earth. Energetic protons can pass through the human body, causing biochemical damage, so they say, presenting a hazard to astronauts during interplanetary travel. And let me tell you, the sun's about to 
get worse from here to 2025. The radiation risks posed by solar flares are a major concern in discussions recently of a human mission to Mars. Will they put the missions back? Now we're going to go see an older capture. When I say older, I'm talking about a couple of years ago, a massive coronal mass ejection that I was able to capture with my camera. Let's see that right now. A coronal mass ejection is a significant release of plasma and accompanying magnetic field from the solar corona. They often follow solar flares and are normally present during a solar prominence eruption. The plasma is released into the solar wind and can be observed. A geomagnetic storm is a major disturbance of Earth's magnetosphere that occurs when there is a very efficient exchange of energy from the solar wind into space environments surrounding Earth. This condition is effective for transferring energy from the solar wind into Earth's magnetosphere. These are all the suns in Lyra. Many suns that I took images of myself. Beautiful images that I have. If one of these suns becomes active, like our sun in the solar system, which obviously they all will, what would that do? What would all these suns becoming active do to the solar system? Here's the object that I showed you the last video. We're going to zoom in pretty close, as close as we can without it destroying the image. And of course, the sun is helping us um, and the smog just right so that we could see this object um, going by the sun, either close to the sun or between Earth and the sun. It's in my field of view, quite simply. And this is what uh, we're getting the chance to see is... Um, an object now you know those of you follow me since a while I've shown many objects many of them have different shapes and forms we have the Pentagon whether we trust them or not that are telling us there's different characteristics to these captures they cannot just be put on one page and well I think that part is, is there's some truth to it you know not to valorize them it's it's obvious I'm confirming that there are many different types of objects out there and no I rarely see the same object um, you know, come back. It's those lights that we see, but each light has a different characteristic. Like this one that literally has wings as it's going by. I've shown the wings before. What, what's the cause by that is once it goes by the sun, it reacts and it gets very, very hot. And only the largest objects will actually make it past the sun. Usually the sun pulverizes them. Coming soon. This is 
Welcome to 